wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best portable monitors. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, the Elicro Raspberry Pi 2K is thicker and less sleek than a lot of the competition, but it's a reliable performer with a pair of built-in speakers and a display port for added connectivity, all for a pretty reasonable price. It's compatible with base mounts and includes a conversion cable, however it may flicker when powered by USB. At number 9, the John Will Mobile IPS is a good choice for movies and television shows, as its 16 to 9 aspect ratio matches the majority of modern content. That also makes it a good choice for film editors looking for a dedicated reference monitor. It's equipped with two mini HDMI inputs and an adjustable metal stand, but its touchscreen performance is poor. Coming in at number 8 in our list. The protective case that comes with the Lapal Gaming Z1 Silver also serves as a handy stand. It arrives with a screen protector to prevent scratches, though it can be difficult to put on and a mistake can spoil its performance. It offers a portrait mode for coders and includes stereo speakers. However, it's not the most durable selection. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for portable monitors or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, the U-Perfect computer display measures 13.3 inches across, making it a nice mid-sized choice. It's manufactured with a durable aluminum alloy and comes with a polyurethane cover for protection in transit. It boasts a wide viewing angle and Thunderbolt connectivity, but glare can be a problem. Moving up our list to number 6. The Mobile Pixels Trio Max can be attached to the back of your laptop and slid out whenever you need it, making this a particularly versatile solution that can extend your existing display for everything from coding to video editing. It flips 180 degrees for presentations and is backed by a one-year warranty. However, the connection magnets could be stronger. Halfway up our list at number 5. The Zissou's Laptop Dual USB-C is a good choice for anyone looking to share content with a group, as it provides a 178 degree viewing angle for accommodating small crowds. An 800 to 1 contrast ratio is good for watching movies too. This is an ultra slim design with a very thin bezel, but it lacks an integrated cover. At number 4, the G-Story UHD provides a crisp, smooth picture even during action scenes and sports. Its HDR compatibility is good for watching films and TV, and it suffers from little to no stuttering when hooked up to a gaming console. It's equipped with two stereo audio jacks, dual HDMI inputs, and both USB Type-A and C ports. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, the Asus ZenScreen MB16 AMT is equipped with a technologically advanced flicker-free backlight and a blue light filter that together protect your eyes effectively. It also boasts integrated speakers and a 7800 mAh battery. It features a 10-point touchscreen and provides up to 4 hours of use per charge. It weighs only 2 pounds. Our newest choices can only be seen at Wiki. .easyvid.com. Go there now and search for portable monitors or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, by placing its ports on the integrated stand, the Lenovo ThinkVision M14 measures a mere 4.4 millimeters thick. It comes in at a reasonable price with an average 300 nits of brightness and a 1080p resolution. It emits minimal blue light and is compatible with Kensington locks. It provides a good color performance too. And taking the top spot on our list, one of the most capable models on the market, the Eliduino On The Go Dual Screen boasts a responsive touchscreen and support for HDR content. It offers USB-C connectivity as well as ports for both regular and mini HDMI cables. It works with most operating systems and features a 4K UHD resolution. It's less than 10 millimeters thick. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.com.
easyfit.com. Go there now and search for portable monitors or simply click beneath this video.